Chapter 12 And a great sign was seen in heaven, a woman, arrayed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she was with child, and she crieth out, travailing in birth, and in pain to be delivered. And there was seen another sign in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his heads seven diadems, and his tail draweth the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon standeth before the woman that is about to be delivered, that when she is delivered, he may devour her child. And she was delivered of a son, a man-child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God, and unto his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that there they may nourish her a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels going forth to war with the dragon, and the dragon warred and his angels, and they prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast down, the old serpent, he that is called the devil, and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was cast down to the earth, and his angels were cast down with him. And I heard a great voice in heaven saying, Now is come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, who accuseth them before our God day and night. And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their testimony. And they loved not their life even unto death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe for the earth and for the sea, because the devil is gone down unto you, having great wrath, knowing that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast down to the earth, he persecuted the woman that brought forth the man-child. And there were given to the woman the two wings of the great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness unto her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth after the woman water as a river that he might cause her to be carried away by the stream. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the river which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon waxed wroth with the woman and went away to make war with the rest of her seed that keep the commandments of God and hold the testimony of Jesus. End of chapter 12. Chapter 13. And he stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast coming up out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads, and on his horns ten diadems, and upon his heads names of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his throne and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as though it had been spitten unto death, and his death stroke was healed. And the whole earth wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, because he gave his authority unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, and who is able to war with him? And there was given to him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. And there was given to him authority to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth for blasphemies against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, even them that dwell in the heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And there was given to him authority over every tribe and people and tongue and nation. And all that dwell on the earth shall worship him, every one whose name hath not been written from the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb that hath been slain. If any man hath an ear, let him hear. If any man is for captivity, into captivity he goeth. If any man shall kill with the sword, with the sword must he be killed. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like unto a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the authority of the first beast in his sight. And he maketh the earth and them that dwell therein to worship, the first beast, whose death stroke was healed. And he doeth great signs that he should even make fire to come down out of heaven upon the earth in the sight of men. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by reason of the signs which it was given him to do in the sight of the beast, 
saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast who hath the stroke of the sword and live. And it was given unto him to give breath to it, even to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as should not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, the small and the great, and the rich and the poor, and the free and the bond, that there be given them a mark on their right hand or upon their forehead, and that no man should be able to buy or to sell, save he that hath the mark, even the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. He that hath understanding, let him count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred and sixty and six. End of chapter 13. Chapter 14. And I saw, and behold, the Lamb, standing on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his name and the name of his father written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and the voice which I heard was as the voice of harpers, harping with their harps. And they sing, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures and the elders. And no man could learn the song save the hundred and forty and four thousand, even they that had been purchased out of the earth. Those are they that were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they that follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were purchased from among men to be the first fruits unto God and unto the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no lie. They are without blemish. And I saw another angel flying in mid-heaven, having eternal good tidings to proclaim unto them that dwell on the earth, and unto every nation and tribe and tongue and people. And he saith with a great voice, Fear God, and give him glory, for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made the heaven and the earth and sea and fountains of waters. And another, a second angel, followed, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, that hath made all the nations to drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And another angel, a third, followed them, saying with a great voice, If any man worshipeth the beast in his image, and receiveth a mark on his forehead or upon his hand, he also shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is prepared unmixed in the cup of his anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day and night, they that worship the beast in his image, and who so receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints, they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their works follow with them. And I saw, and behold, a white cloud, and on the cloud I saw one sitting, like unto a son of man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the temple, crying with a great voice to him that sat on the cloud, Send forth thy sickle, and reap, for the hour to reap is come, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud cast his sickle upon the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out from the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, he that hath power over fire. And he called with a great voice to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Send forth thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel cast his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vintage of the earth, and cast it into the winepress, the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and there came out blood from the winepress, even unto the bridles of the horses, as far as a thousand and six hundred furlongs. End of chapter 14. Chapter 15. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having seven plagues, which are the last, for in them is finished the wrath of God. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, 
and them that come off victorious from the beast, and from his image, and from the number of his name, standing by the sea of glass, having harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord God, the Almighty. Righteous and true are thy ways, thou King of the ages. Who shall not fear, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy, for all the nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy righteous acts have been made manifest. And after these things I saw, and the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And there came out from the temple the seven angels that had the seven plagues arrayed with precious stone, pure and bright, and girt about their breasts with golden girdles. And one of the four living creatures gave unto the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who liveth forever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and none was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels should be finished. End of chapter 15. Chapter 16. And I heard a great voice out of the temple, saying to the seven angels, Go ye, and pour out the seven bowls of the wrath of God into the earth. And the first went and poured out his bowl into the earth, and it became a noisome and grievous sore upon the men that had the mark of the beast, and that worshipped his image. And the second poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man, and every living soul died, even the things that were in the sea. And the third poured out his bowl into the rivers and the fountains of the waters, and it became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters sing, Righteous art thou, who art and who wast, thou holy one, because thou didst thus judge. For they poured out the blood of saints and prophets, and blood hast thou given them to drink. They are worthy. And I heard the altar saying, Yea, O Lord God, the Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth poured out his bowl upon the sun, and it was given unto it to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and they blasphemed the name of God, who hath the power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth poured out his bowl upon the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was darkened, and they gnawed their tongues for pain, and they blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and they repented not of their works. And the sixth poured out his bowl upon the great river, the river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way might be made ready for the kings that come from the sun rising. And I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits, as it were, frogs. For they are spirits of demons, working signs, which go forth unto the kings of the whole world, to gather them together unto the war of the great day of God, the Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. And they gathered them together into the place which is called in Hebrew, Har Magidon. And the seventh poured out his bowl upon the air, and there came forth a great voice out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were lightnings and voices and thunders, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since. There were men upon the earth, so great an earthquake, so mighty. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and Babylon the great was remembered in the sight of God, to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found, and great hail, every stone about the weight of a talent, cometh down out of heaven upon men. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof is exceeding great. End of chapter 16. Chapter 17. And there came one of the seven angels that had the seven bowls, and spake with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great harlot that sitteth upon many waters with whom the kings of the earth committed fornication, and they that dwell in the earth were made drunken with the wine of her fornication. 
And he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. And I saw a woman sitting upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stone and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations, even the unclean things of her fornication, and upon her forehead a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of the harlots, and of the abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with a great wonder. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou wonder? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman, and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath these seven heads and the ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and is about to come up out of the abyss, and to go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, they whose name hath not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast, how that he was and is not, and shall come. Here is the mind that hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth, and they are seven kings. The five are fallen, the one is, the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a little while. And the beast that was and is not is himself also an eighth, and is of the seven, and he goeth into perdition. And the ten horns that thou sawest are ten kings, who have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority as kings with the beast for one hour. These have one mind, and they give their power and authority unto the beast. These shall war against the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they also shall overcome that are with him, called and chosen and faithful. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the harlot sitteth, are peoples, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest, and the beast, these shall hate the harlot, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and shall burn her utterly with fire. For God did put in their hearts to do his mind, and to come to one mind, and to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God should be accomplished. And the woman whom thou sawest is the great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. End of chapter 17. Chapter 18. After these things I saw another angel coming down out of heaven, having great authority. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried with a mighty voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, and is become a habitation of demons, and a hold of every unclean spirit, and a hold of every unclean and hateful bird. For by the wine of the wrath of her fornication, all the nations are fallen, and the kings of the earth committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth waxed rich by the power of her wantonness. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come forth, my people, out of her, that ye have no fellowship with her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached even unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Render unto her even as she rendered, and double unto her, the double according to her works. In the cup which she mingled, mingle unto her double. How much soever she glorified herself, and waxed wanton, so much give her of torment and mourning. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall in no wise see mourning. Therefore in one day shall her plagues come, death, and mourning, and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judged her, and the kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived wantonly with her shall weep and wail over her when they look upon the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Woe, woe, the great city Babylon, the strong city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more, merchandise of gold and silver and precious stone and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and every vessel of ivory and every vessel made of most precious wood 
and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and spice, and incense, and ointment, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and cattle, and sheep, and merchandise of horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men, and the fruits which thy soul lusted after are gone from thee, and all things that were dainty and sumptuous are perished from thee, and men shall find them no more at all. The merchants of these things who were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, she that was arrayed in fine linen and purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stone and pearl. For in one hour so great riches is made desolate. And every shipmaster, and every one that saileth any with her, and mariners, and as many as gained their living by sea, stood afar off, and cried out as they looked upon the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like the great city? And they cast dust on their heads, and cried, weeping and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, the great city, wherein all that had their ships in the sea were made rich by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye saints, and ye apostles, and ye prophets, for God hath judged your judgment on her. And a strong angel took up a stone, as it were a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with a mighty fall shall Babylon the great city be cast down, and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and minstrels and flute players and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman of whatsoever craft shall be found any more at all in thee. And the voice of a mill shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a lamp shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the princes of the earth. For with thy sorcery were all the nations deceived. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that have been slain upon the earth. End of chapter 18. Chapter 19. After these things I heard, as it were, a great voice of a great multitude in heaven, saying, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great harlot, her that corrupted the earth with her fornication, and he hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And a second time they say, Hallelujah! And her smoke goeth up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God that sitteth on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came forth from the throne, saying, Give praise to our God, all ye his servants, ye that fear him, the small and the great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunders, saying, Hallelujah. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigneth. Let us rejoice and be exceeding glad, and let us give the glory unto him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And it was given unto her that she should array herself in fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they that are bidden to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, these are true words of God. And I fell down before his feet to worship him. And he saith unto me, See thou do it not. I am a fellow servant with thee, and with thy brethren that hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw the heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat thereon called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. And his eyes are a flame of fire, and upon his head are many diadems. And he hath a name written, which no one knoweth but he himself. And he is arrayed in a garment sprinkled with blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which are in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and pure. And out of his mouth proceedeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of God, the Almighty. 
and he hath on his garment and on his thighs a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in mid-heaven, Come and be gathered together unto the great supper of God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit thereon, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, and small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth in their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat upon the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought the signs in his sight, wherewith he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. They too were cast alive into the lake of fire that burneth with brimstone. And the rest were killed with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, even the sword which came forth out of his mouth, and all the birds were filled with their flesh. End of chapter 19. Chapter 20. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key of the abyss and a great chain in his hand, and he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and cast him into the abyss and shut it, and sealed it over him, that he should deceive the nations no more, until the thousand years should be finished. After this he must be loosed for a little time. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus, and for the word of God, and such as worshipped not the beast, neither his image, and received not the mark upon their forehead, and upon their hand. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. The rest of the dead lived not until the thousand years should be finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Over these the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years are finished, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall come forth to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to the war, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up over the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where are also the beast and the false prophet, and they shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat upon it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of the things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, even the lake of fire. And if any was not found written in the book of life, he was cast into the lake of fire. End of chapter 20. Chapter 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth are passed away, and the sea is no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, made ready as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of the throne saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he shall dwell with them, and they shall be his peoples, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And he shall wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. The first things are passed away. And he that sitteth on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he saith, Write, for these words are faithful and true. And he said unto me, They are come to pass. I am the Alpha and the Omega, 
the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But for the fearful, and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and fornicators, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, their part shall be in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls, who were laden with the seven last plagues, and he spake with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain great and high, and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her light was like unto a stone most precious, as it were a jasper stone, clear as crystal, having a wall great and high, having twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east were three gates, and on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that spake with me had for a measure a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and length thereof is as great as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs, the length and breadth and height thereof are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of an angel. And the building of the wall thereof was jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto pure glass. The foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysophrase, the eleventh Jason, the twelfth amethyst, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the several gates was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God the Almighty and the Lamb are the temple thereof. And the city hath no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine upon it, for the glory of God did lighten it. And the lamp thereof is the Lamb, and the nations shall walk amidst the light thereof, and the kings of the earth bring their glory into it. And the gates thereof shall in no wise be shut by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything unclean, or he that maketh an abomination and a lie, but only they that are written in the Lamb's book of life. End of chapter 21. Chapter 22. And he showed me a river of water of life, bright as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street thereof, and on this side of the river and on that was the tree of life, bearing twelve manner of fruits, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no curse any more. And the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be therein, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads, and there shall be night no more, and they need no light of lamp, neither light of sun, for the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign for ever and ever. And he said unto me, These words are faithful and true, and the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. And behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the words of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, am he that heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel that showed me these things. And he saith unto me, See thou do it not, I am a fellow servant with thee, and with thy brethren the prophets, and with them that keep the words of this book worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. 
He that is unrighteous, let him do unrighteousness still. And he that is filthy, let him be made filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him do righteousness still. And he that is holy, let him be made holy still. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to render to each man according as his work is. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are they that wash their robes, that they may have the right to come to the tree of life and may enter in by the gates into the city. Without are the dogs and the sorcerers and the fornicators and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone that loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things. For the churches, I am the root and offspring of David, the bright, the morning star, and the spirit and the bride say, Come. And he that heareth, let him say, Come. And he that is athirst, let him come. He that will, let him take the water of life freely. I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto them, God shall add unto him the plagues which are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the tree of life and out of the holy city, which are written in this book. He who testifieth these things saith, Yea, I come quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with the saints. Amen. End of chapter 22. And also the end of the Revelation of John.